Now firstly, let's talk about the basics. The lime colored pantyhose by Cecilia de Raphael are 15 then, which refers to the thickness of the yarn. They are designed to be sheer and lightweight, making them perfect for this natural barely there look, assuming they would not be lime green. As you can see, these pantyhose are incredibly sheer. This is the waistband. This is a classic Cecilia de Raphael waistband and honestly, it makes me a bit worried that they are going to be sliding down. This is what the legs look like. And this would be the heel and the toe. The toe does not appear to be reinforced at all. However, commonly my experience with Cecilia de Raphael is that their pantyhose are such a good quality. There really isn't much reinforcement necessary. So let's put them on. Now, although they are lime green, once you put them on, they will give your legs this smooth and silky finish without looking sort of too opaque. The sheerness is ideal for warmer weather or for occasions when you wish your legs and the definition to be just a little bit more enhanced. Guys, you know that when it comes to Cecilia de Raphael in general and their pantyhose, one of the most prominent standout features is the gloss. And these pantyhose are no different. They have a beautiful glossy finish that sort of catches the light just right. The shine gives your legs the sort of healthy, radiant and quite a tone look, making them perfect for day or night. Now, let's take a look at them a bit from closer up and let's talk about how they are actually made. The lime pantyhose are crafted using a blend of nylon and elastan which ensures a comfortable and flexible fit. The knitting process involves advanced machinery that precisely waves the fibers together, creating a durable yet delicate fabric. And on top of it, each pair undergoes a rigorous quality control to ensure they meet the brand's high standards. Another important aspect is the design details. The waistband is soft and stretchy, providing a comfortable fit without digging into your skin. And although the toe area is not reinforced, the pantyhose in general are of a very high and durable quality. And it's exactly these thoughtful ideas that contribute to the overall comfort and longevity of the items. Now, let's talk about how they actually feel against my skin. The pantyhose themselves are actually incredibly soft and smooth. The blend of nylon and elastan creates this silky texture that glides sort of effortlessly against your skin. They are also light and breathable, making them suitable for wear for an extended period of time. So whether you're sitting at the desk or moving around, these pantyhose will stay comfortable, giving you this second skin kind of feel. Alright guys, and now we have that. Let's compare them side by side with my old Cecilia de Raphael pantyhose. Alright guys, so what do you think? Which of these two pairs do you deem shinier? I'm going to move my hand and my legs from side to side so you can see better how the light reflects off of them. I personally would say that the new pair of the lime pantyhose is quite a bit more reflective than the old pair. However, we have to take into account that the old pair has been washed so many times and they are still certainly shiny enough. So this definitely to Cecilia de Raphael's credit. So you let me know what you think in the comment section. Which of these two pairs are shinier? And I am now going to take these off and we will do a stretch test. Alright. So my tan pantyhose seem to be a bit stretchier. However, I would say my lamp pantyhose are just slightly more shiny. Anyway guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow.
Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are diving into the world of affordable and yet stylish pantyhose. I will be trying on a new brand. It's called Primark. It was recommended to me by one of you. And you claimed that the pantyhose are an incredibly good quality for a very low price. So let's get to it. The packaging itself seems quite minimalistic, but very functional. It's correctly displaying the denier, how many pairs there are, and what for a product it is. So let's open it up. There are two pairs in every package, and the price is 7 euros. Which is an incredible price, and if you look at the picture, the pantyhose seem very, very shiny. So let's hope it's not just the light, but it's the product itself. Ooh. Okay, so both of the pairs are packaged together. Usually they are packaged separately by most brands. There is a quite a thick seam around the waist. That's great because that means they are much more likely to be comfortable. However, there is already a big discrepancy. I'll show you why. The packaging claims sheer to waist and sheer to toe. However, if you look at the picture on the package, this isn't sheer to waist. You see the waistband. That's not what sheer to waist is. If I look at the product itself, it is corresponding to the picture on the package. However, it's not corresponding to the description itself. Anyway, guys, let's put them on and see what we are dealing with. Now, onto the pantyhose themselves. Straight out of the package, I actually do like the 30 den because it offers this slightly more coverage, opaque look. However, it still provides you the sheer elegance. Furthermore, although they are not as shiny as many other brands, the finish is still glossy enough to give your legs this smooth and toned look. And also, I really like how the surface of the nylon catches and reflects the light. Now, let's take a look at them from closer up and let's talk about the details. The caramel color with the shine creates quite a luxurious appearance that you don't find every day. The pantyhose themselves are made of a blend of nylon and elastan and the fabric has been treated to ensure that the glossy effect will not fade over time. And that is what truly sets them apart from many other cheaper brands. Now, one thing I truly appreciate about them is the comfortable fit. Although the waistband does not correspond with the description on the box, I have to admit the white flat waistband is exceptionally comfortable. In addition to it, the seams are minimal and really well constructed, ensuring a very smooth look underneath your clothing. Furthermore, in terms of durability, these pantyhose will hold up quite well. Despite being affordable, they are fairly resistant. I would actually compare their quality to Calcedonia. They seem nearly identical. And honestly, if I saw my Calcedonia ones and these ones without the packaging, I would not have been able to tell which one is which. They look like they are going to be fairly resilient against snagging and tearing. However, as with all pantyhose, it's important to take a good care of them so you can wear them for longer. And that brings me to how are you going to style them? I know styling very glossy items can be quite intimidating, but it's really not as complicated as it seems. The gloss finish pairs really well both with casual and more formal outfits. Whether you're wearing them with a dress, a skirt, or with more of casual shorts, the shine simply adds just a little bit more of elegance. Alright guys, now let's try them on side by side with my old Cecilia de Raphael pantyhose to get more of a point of reference how shiny they really are. Hmm? Alright guys, and now it's time for the stretch test. Alright guys, so the Cecilia de Raphael is stretchier. 
but the Primark are far cheaper. You see the Cecilia de Raphael was about 15 to 17 euros, whereas the Primark was only 7 euros for two pairs. That makes it 350 per one pair. Alright guys, and that is it for today. Let me know in the comment section which pair you prefer, if it's the slightly affordable version or slightly more expensive and classic. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you tomorrow. Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today I have something a little different for you. A budget friendly experiment. I'm going to try on and review these black matte 20 den pantyhose that I picked up for just one euro. So are they a hidden gem or will they fall apart even before I put them on? Let's find out. Let's start with the packaging. It's very basic as you would expect at this price range. There are the prices. You see they were 2 euros for 2 pairs that makes it 1 euro per pair. And they have a reinforced toe and a reinforced waistband. That's a plus for durability, at least in theory. But let's see how they actually hold up. Alright guys, so now when I actually have them on, I have to admit something. You see, when I opened the package, it had quite a chemical smell, but I thought it's just the packaging itself and the inside. But as I took the pantyhose out, it turns out it's the pantyhose. So be aware of this kind of chemical smell, which is not completely uncommon for cheap on islands, but it's certainly something you should be aware of. Alright, and now let me show you the pantyhose in full. So here is how they look from closer up. They are a bit snug, but they are not uncomfortable. The reinforced toes are certainly doing their job and I can tell they will hold up pretty well. The waistband is pretty standard, nothing special, but it doesn't dig into me, so that's great. Overall, I think they look pretty nice. They are not shiny, they are matte, so there is just this sleek, smooth finish. And although the cost is only 1 euro per pair, did you know that polyamide, the material these tights are made of, is the same type of fiber used in more luxurious brands? Of course, the quality, the finish and the brand itself is different and that's where the difference in price comes from. However, the material at core is exactly the same. And now it's time to talk about the downsides. Well, firstly, these pantyhose are completely basic. The stitching isn't the most refined and in terms of sizing, the brand is not the most inclusive. In fact, on the package itself, it says that they will only accommodate you if you are below 176 cm tall. So let's say if you're a bit taller like me or if you're a man, this is probably not the best brand for you. However, I can detest that although these pantyhose should technically not be suitable for people my height, I am about 178cm tall, they fit pretty well. And for 1 euro, they have really a great value. And now, for the moment of truth, I'm going to find out how durable they really are. I'm going to do a few tests, sitting, walking, and even a little bit of stretch test to find out if they'll hold up. I'm going to be comparing them with my old Cecilia de Raphael tights. And they are about the same. However, given that these ones cost 1 euro per pair and these ones about 15, I have to say the cheap pantyhose are doing really well. Not only that the stitching is quite decent, 
the durability is excellent and they do also fit really well. Alright guys, and that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section which pantyhose would you choose. Would you choose the more affordable option or the luxurious one? See you tomorrow. Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today we are going to talk about the classic pairing between nylons and high heels. We are going to talk about what goes well together and what is better to avoid. So let's get to it. Whether you're dressing up for a night out or just want to add a touch of elegance to your everyday outfit, I've got you covered with some tips and tricks. So let's get started. First things first, let's talk nylons. The key here is to select the right type and shape to match your outfit and your skin. For a more natural look, go for nude sheer ties that closely match your complexion. This sort of elongates your legs and creates more of a seamless look with your high heels. Now, if you're wearing a dark colored outfit like me, you can also opt for something like this. You see, black pantyhose are a classic and you essentially cannot go wrong with them. They add a bit of sophistication and they make your legs appear a bit slimmer. Or for something a little bit more daring, try nylons with patterns like polka dots, lace, or even fishnets for an edgier vibe. Now let's move on to the fun part, choosing the right heels pair with your nylons. For a timeless, elegant look, pair nude nylons with classic pumps or stilettos. I chose my black lacquer and my tan ones. I always claim these tan are an absolute must in your closet because you can essentially pair them with any color. You see, some colors can be quite hard to pair, like red. Not everything goes with a red dress, but you can certainly wear cream pumps. You see, if you choose the right pumps that match your skin tone or your nylons quite closely, that is also another way how to elongate your legs. Black pairs beautifully for a monochromatic and chic effect. If you're opting for a pattern nylons, try to keep your shoes simple to avoid clashing. Something like a sleek black or just a simple nude heel should do the trick. If you want to make a statement, try pairing bold colored nylons with heels of a contrasting shade. Just remember, balance is the key. And now let's talk about some final points to keep in mind. Number one. If your heels have an open toe, opt for toeless nylons to keep the look clean. Number two, avoid pairing opaque and thick nylons with delicate and strappy heels. That could make your legs appear a bit bulky. And third, don't forget about texture. Shiny nylons can add a touch of glamour, while matte nylons offer a more understated look. And there you have it guys. If you pair nylons with high heels correctly, it will certainly elevate your style game, whether you're going more for a classic look or a modern one. If you found this tips helpful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more nylon advice. See you tomorrow.